T.J. Brody out as well, and so it'll be interesting to watch how he gets back into things playing against number 87. Wollinger back in the lineup for the first time since November 2nd when he was injured in Boston. So here comes Gensel, a give-and-go attempt with Drew O'Connor. Now a centering play, but Domi there defensively, and Max Domi starts out. He's in the middle with Matthew Nyes back in the lineup. Great move, great goal! and showing just great speed here. It's Domi who makes the play, though, and stands up, and Graves just gets caught going to the inside. I love this move, though, an aggressive move to the inside. But once it looked like he was going to cut across, he chose to cut right back. And look at Tristan Jari. I think he's thinking he's going to cut across. He's ready to brace himself, but great hands on the move. He's flying in the early going. From the corner, Domi knocked down. And it looks like he might be shaken up. Fans react to Fisher Zone. And now we've got Nyes dropping the glove in front. And going at it with John Lumpet. Just this reaction here. Where did the stick? Oh, yeah, there's the stick coming up after. So watching it live, I was wondering what happened as Domi takes that one. Now it'll be interesting what the call is on Nyes. Get a sense of it from the officials here. McKee sends it in behind the net. Jari there with it. The highest scoring goaltender in the league this year. Moves the puck. There's Domi. Good check. It's Robertson in. Get on. Martin scores. Great job again of the pressure. On the puck carrier, right from behind, it's Domi who creates the turnover. Robertson with a little softer pass that you can see. Joseph gets a piece of it, but how about the hands of Mitch Marner? A bouncing puck. Don't try to overhandle it. Actually, use the rolling puck to your advantage. All he's got to do here is get it up and over the glove. He's in so tight, not much else to do. And he flips it up and under the ball. Comes across for Riley. Down low. Marner back to Riley, shooting rebound, Jerry down, and a big stop there on Tavares. Timmons shooting, that fronted by Latang. Zahorna and Chris Latang try to work it up, give it away, off the post. Homer comes close, here's McMahon, scores! Bobby McMahon, his first in the National Hockey League. That one's going to be a commemorative one, but it's just a good hard work shift. Three or four times the Penguins had a chance to clear it. There's the one off the post. He stays with it. Nice little shuttle pass there for Bertuzzi. He's got his back to the net. There's nowhere for Bertuzzi to go. A quick little stop up by McMahon, a quick release, and there's a memory forever. Your first National Hockey League goal. And he'll start the second, and again matched up against Camp with Jared Kroos. And Gregor. Jake Gensel on the flank and now back to the line. It's Eric Carlson and a nice tone stop there by Jones. O'Connor taken out a push here early. It knocked off the stick of Lilligren. And Jones has to bail the leap out. Allowing him to get to that rebound. But then the rebound is there and Pedersen comes flying through. And, able to and Carlson intercepts that. And Estroza from center. Walk down by Jones, up ahead, and a pass to the line. Great pass by Nice Domi in, scores! Beauty, and it all started with a pass from Mark Jones. Tristan Jari, watch this play by Marner. He's got no speed, standing still, so he gets pressured by the D-man, puts the puck between his legs, that opens up the middle lane, and just great patience. Talk about a confident start for Max Domi. Kicks the legs up like he's going to make the shot, and then already Jari's bitten and gone down. Jones with the quick up. Marner with the nifty one between. There's Dad smiling. So there's the Gordie Howe hat trick. There you go. You got it.
He's got 18 minutes left in the second period with him. Crosby in front, and Jones has to be sharp again. Riley Smith. Around it comes and moving up is Benoit. Malkin and outlet cut off by Marner. Walking in and off the post. Seven years in a row, his entire time as a Maple Leaf, he's led each year the Leafs in assists. It's, it's being strange being this far in and he's behind. Here's Riley, Nylander, shot scores! John Tavares in front! Power play goal by nothing Toronto. Their top goal scorer was number 91. 18 power play goals last year for Tavares. Chris, that goal there is just number two. It, these kind of plays just haven't been happening for him on the power play, but he does exactly what he needs to do. You win the draw, get to the front of the net. Get the adrenaline pumping. Pretty amazing the work that they do. I'm gonna say that looks like an unbeatable team. Here's Tavares back in again. In front, rebound, and he fired that off to Delkovich just wide. Right there, your goaltender makes a big save. Tavares wins the draw in his defensive zone. One little long stretch pass there opens up the ice. Nice move around a forward in Crosby, and he gets the second chance to melt the Delkovich. Maybe got a piece of it a little bit as well. He made the first save. Did he get the second? Last 10 seconds of the power play, six minutes to go here in the second. Gregor hands it off for Tuzi back. Gregor scores! One second on the clock left on that power play. And Delkovich able to get that one for Tuzi. How about this little give and go? Is that one up and over? Back on the power play, you wondered what the alignment would be. They got the top unit up once again. Here's Marner down low. Toby across. Oh, what a stop. Rebound. And tied up in front to Delkovic. Another one is it's just the speed of the entry and a quick little stop up there by Nylander. Back down low. And Domi with a great pass across. Eller kind of tried to get boxed out on Tavares but wasn't able to get a piece of the puck. And there's the pad of Nedeljkovic comes sliding across and just didn't get it quite up. I mean, if they can get this third period home, that's 14 of 15 games they've been able to garner a point in. And so much for the talk of not being able to win in regulation. Crosby unable to reach that. Leaps will counter. Here comes Noah Gregor back in, looking for his second. And stop. Did it go in? No, they're going to wipe it out. This. It went in off Gregor, who bumped into the dump of it. Here's Crosby trying to reach for this one. He goes down awkwardly. Now it's going back the other way. But the speed of Gregor, he knows he's got the inside edge here on Carlson. It hits Carlson, and he knocks him in. So I, I don't think it's one of those plays that that's the contact with the skate on the pad of the nothing here to say today that he shouldn't be the guy in goal. Here comes Nylander dropping it off. Morgan Riley, another post. A lot of opportunities to jump up into the play. Here's one though as the drop pass to Bertuzzi opens up that lane. And great job by Morgan Riley of beating his man up the ice. Pittsburgh with some zone time against a top unit. Lagesson trying to settle things down, got it to McCabe, out to Nylander with Bertuzzi, and Tavares, Tyler Bertuzzi, and it's a tap in for William Nylander, 40 points on the year. Passing out in their own zone, and how about this long pass again by McCabe, the stretch pass catches the Penguins in deep, looked like Bertuzzi was going to shoot for sure, look at that. The Delkovich, he still thinks that a shot was coming instead of the last second. Nylander, credit to him, he didn't blow by. He stopped it up and from a tough angle. It's the easy tap in. Bertuzzi looking the whole time, waited it out. And in the midst of a busy schedule, not a bad time for that to happen. Oh, that off the crossbar. Oh, wow. I think his tracking of the puck has been excellent. Does this hit anything? Just a quick little shot from the outside. I wasn't sure if it hit McCabe or not. Oh, man, just over. Martin Jones can start to celebrate as the clock will wind down. Back-to-back -back Saturdays, the Leafs will post shutouts.
for Martin Jones, his first as a Maple Leaf. Uh...